that's fair. That I've seen these groups that say, that recommend that sisters, in a sense, let us as boys, as men, mature a little later before, if you will, being willing to get too involved. In other words, having having had the American experience to where as much as I am an advocate for healthy marriage before children, I advocate that highly at 50 years old. At 25, my immaturity was similar to what Jindena talks about from a you know different perspective. I was never the bitch, hoes, type cat or whatever, but I was focused on my career, Definitely wanted to have a, a you know, a, a, if you will, sisters under, um, under my arm, if you will. But if I'm not focused on having a family at that time, she's losing years, even though I was a gentleman and a decent brother, if you will, based on the standard of the time. But if that's not my focus, I'm wasting her time somewhat unintentionally. I can speak on that now at 50, at 25, I don't realize I'm doing that because we both agreed to kick it if you will. So bring your thoughts to just bringing this aspect into black boys being real niggas versus being real men. Your thoughts, Queen. Did I lose you? Hello. Uh, I, I didn't get that last part. Oh, okay. Okay. I was just, well, I don't know if you, did you hear enough? I was just basically having you respond to some of what I was saying. I was just highlighting um, you know, in my younger years, I wasn't necessarily intentionally trying to waste a, a sister's baby making years, if you will. Uh, but mm. there's sentiment that based on our current American experience that is, is advantageous for sisters to wait to men mature to even be able to correctly create a relationship with you. So I'm just trying to reiterate what I said because I don't know what you missed. Um, but I just wanted to get your thoughts. Thoughts to some of what I'm saying because I think it's an a aspect of the of the day's discussion. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, actually, me and my partner uh, talk about that quite often. He's uh, eight years older than me, um, and I, I realize um, how important it is for a man to be at a certain point in his life at, in order to pursue a relationship. Um, Seriously, because when you're younger, you know, um, you know, just naturally, you know, you have certain inclinations towards things. You're more sexual. You're 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 ready to be out there and be doing all these different types of things. And one thing that I've, you know, uh, learned uh, just through conversations with you know with my brothers and different people, um, is that usually when a man isn't where he wants to be, um, you know, financially or mentally or whatever, um, you know, everything else is kind of second. So that up to and including a relationship, and uh, whereas with, with women, you know, uh, they they speak on how we tend to mature a lot faster, but we don't have the same advantages of waiting um, in the same uh, manner, uh, you know, in terms of being able to, you know, have children. Um, and if we're being completely honest, um, our look, our sexual prowess, you know, um, you know, of course, as, as we get older, I feel like you know we can we can be more beautiful. But the truth is that. Um, <laughs> from from what I've seen, um, most men um, are not usually checking for a woman that's older because at that point she's probably stuck in her ways. She probably has some baggage. She probably has a, a lot of things that they don't want or responsibility that, you know, they probably don't even want to have to take on. Now, it's always exceptions to the rule, but just in general, that usually is the, the sad reality for a lot of women where we cannot wait in the same type of way that men can. Like, for example, my uh, my partner, he's 35 years old. Um, if it was the opposite way around, it wouldn't be the same thing. It's like, oh, she's young. She's a 20, uh, at, when he met me, at 25, uh, but. You know, she's young, she's, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's all good. You know, she got a good head on her shoulder or whatever. If it was the opposite way around and he was eight years uh, past my senior at 35, it would be like, all right, now what's wrong with her? Uh, <laughs> uh, why isn't she with somebody? Or, you know, she's much old. It, it, it's a lot of different things. So I, I understand what you're saying uh, wholeheartedly, and I agree with it. Yes, this is a reality that we, I think, is necessary to speak to. It's not even about the right and wrong of it. It's Here's the landscape that we are having to navigate, meaning uh, we don't, in a sense, 
have enough young boys learning from their fathers because that's how it would naturally happen. They don't have the father, if you will, encouraging, hey, but what, when you going to grow up? When you going to get your family and be responsible, which was kind of the standard historically. Uh, we can't be foolish and act like that's the reality today. And so to a degree, it becomes smart to recognize, um, like I said, Dindana, if you listen to his 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 his, his 